Hello, my name is David, and I'm here to tell you about a neat little tool that I found on GitHub, which can mass download your Echo 360 videos. And we all know Echo 360 is a platform for universities to share their lectures, and they do not have a mass download feature. But this tool allows us to mass download Echo 360 videos. All right, so let's start off with making sure that we have the required packages. So first let's check we have Git by doing Git version and check that we have Python or Python 3. In my case, I have Python 3. And let's also ensure we have FFmpeg. And then just make sure you have Firefox installed or Chrome. If Chrome doesn't work, then use Firefox because turns out for me, Chrome didn't work. So that's why I use Firefox. If you don't have any of this installed on the Mac, uh, if you download Homebrew, it's quite easy to install all of, all of these packages. Uh, so once you've downloaded Homebrew, you can just simply go brew install ffmpeg or git or Python 3, okay? Firstly, I'm going to move into my development directory. And in it, I have two directories, tools and projects. So because this is a tool, I'm gonna to go into tools. And in tools, you can see I only have Flutter in here but once we git clone this repository, this is the Echo 360 repository. Now it's not Echo 360, it's the Echo 360 downloader. And so now we're gonna be cloning that repository. And now that is done, let us move into the Echo 360 repository. So from here with Python 3, I like to create a virtual environment. And once that's done, I will navigate to the activation file. So that now I'm in the Python virtual environment. All right, and now from here, I want to install the requirements that are necessary for this to work. All right, so now that we have finished downloading all the required packages, we are almost ready to just run the single command. So what we need to do is now go to our Echo 360 page and uh, you should end up in the library here. And all you need to do is just go to courses and the specific course that you want to download. And then all you need to do is just copy this link and so the next step now is to create a directory uh, where we put all the output files. What I'm gonna do is just create a new folder on my desktop and name it RA Lectures. And in my terminal, since I'm using Python 3, I will type Python 3 uh, to execute echo360.py and this is where we place in the URL followed by Firefox which is going to be what opens up a browser for authentication followed by alternative feeds which copies every feed followed by an output of desktop RA lectures. 
and this is the folder that I just created. And now it's just downloading some driver to open up the browser, I guess. Oh, and I guess it paused. So a good thing to do here is control C and just retype in the command. And something should have come up. There we go. All right. This is where we type in our student details. Now that we are logged in, we go back to the terminal and all we need to do is type continue and press enter. And now you're in the process of downloading. And so what it's doing right now is retrieving all the course info. And then once it's done all of that, it will download all your videos. All right, that has finally finished. Now it has probably taken more than an hour just to do, but we can see that when we just navigate to the folder. It'll be in the folder untitled. As you can see, it has successfully downloaded all 36 lectures. So if you found this uh, video helpful, please tag the algorithm by giving me a like and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe.